you're welcome back. Now, let's look at cash settled share based payments transactions. As we have explained earlier, that under a cash settled share based payment transactions, an entity incurs a liability for goods and services. And the settlement amount is based on the price or value of the entity's shares or other equity instrument. Examples of this type of transaction include share appreciation rights granted to employees. The employees become entitled to a future cash payment rather than an equity instrument based on the increase in the entity's share price from a specified level over a specified period of time. Or, an entity might grant to its employees a right to receive a future cash payment by granting to them a right to shares that are redeemable. Okay? It's like it's granting them shares that oh, don't worry, after two years, I'll buy it back from you. So it's like they will give them cash in, at a future date. So the basic principle here is that the entity measures the goods or services acquired or received and the liability incurred at the fair value of the liability. And the entity should remeasure the fair value of the liability at each reporting date until the liability is settled and at the date of settlement. Any changes in fair value are recognized in profit or loss for the period. The entity should recognize the services received and the liability to pay for those services as the employees render service. For example, if a share appreciation rights do not vest until the employees have completed a specified period of service, the entity should recognize the services received and the related liability over that period. Okay? Now, let's look at a question to demonstrate what we are seeing here. Let's do that in the next video. See you.